Hey guys, what's up guys? Today I want to show you how we configure Sarge with Secret on PFSense. So first of all, I want to make sure that the Secret package that's already installed. So I go to Packages. Uh, then I go to Available Packages. And this video I'm going to use Squid 3 version. So I scroll down. I'm willing to use this package. So I click home and confirm. As you know, Sarge is just a reporting tool that's based on Sequid. So first of all, we have to make sure that Squid is already installed and running without any problem. Once that's ready, we can go ahead and continue with Sarge tool. So right now the package is being installed. <clears throat> Almost finished. Configuration XML files. Alright, it's complete right now, so uh, we can go to services, squared proxy, and this is the, uh, the default configuration of SQL. So, first of all, I want to enable. Uh, then I want to change the, the port number. I will be listening to the LAN interface. Um, I'm going to enable the logging. As you know, this is a mandatory step because uh, it will be used with Sarge because Sarge will be depending on that path and logging. So it's so important that the logging is being enabled on that server. And lo rotating the logs also will help you uh, in the cache drive management so as you see uh, uh, the logging will be uh, all the time uh, saved on your hard disk and by days it, it may fold your hard disk drive so it will be better to uh, give rotation log like uh, each seven days the log will be rotated right uh, those options not mandatory you can change it as well this is the email that's gonna be shown to the user when there is uh, th something wrong or uh, it will be shown in the error page of SQL. Right now I'm gonna save. <clears throat> uh, I have a problem. The local cache, let me figure out. You know, I'm not willing to, to enable the caching even. So I will go to, to the cache options right here and I'm gonna choose null. Null means that there is no caching enabled in this server, right? So I'm willing to go back, enable squid, and this is the port number. I'm willing to listen, all of setting will be to the LAN interface right here uh, this should be enabled as we mentioned I can say 5 days no problem uh, I'm gonna save Uh, we can choose the real time, right? Now I'm willing to open up the proxy and connect to my proxy using my Firefox. 
So this is my, my LAN IP address and this is the LAN port and let's check. All right, we have the proxy working, and you can see uh, from the logs on the real time tab on the squid box. So, right now, we just configured squid to be working, and now I'm willing to install the package that's called Sarge. So, I go to the package manager packages, and I'm scrolling back to available packages, it's called Sarge. And from Sarge, I'm going to install the package from Terra. Right, almost finished. All right, the installation completed. So I go now to services. Um, sorry, I go to status, search reporting, and here's the option that I'm gonna choose to the configuration. So first of all, I'm going to choose Secret. This is my proxy server. Uh, and those are the reporting options over here. And here is the report to regenerate. So I'm going to choose the default options right here. And I can create a schedule to, to analyze the log files in Secret and show it over a reporting in the view report tab. So right now I'm going to enable this. Uh, I'm can, I can say uh, two days will be fine. This is how often should this report be updated. And I'm going to say save. Save. Okay. Uh, now you can view the reporting. As you see, 2016. This is only my ID that's really connected to this secret. And I'm going to make some statistics on the website. You know, but those will not be uh, right here because as we configured here, this cron will work after two days. So I can, I can just force it now, you know. I can force update. And the report should tell me that I opened this website, right? So I go back, report. This is the website that I have opened since the SQL started, right? So maybe maybe facing some problem in. Uh, in the viewing the report and I think you, you have to go to schedule and do false update now right and you have to wait some moments because the for update will take some time before it uh, generated right here in the view reporting tab so this is uh, just a small video for configuration of Sarge reporting tool for SQL and a nutshell. Uh, in the end, I hope this video has been informative for you and like thank you for viewing. Thank you so much. See you next time in another video.